long range leads down in waves on pavement. All right. Hello and welcome back to This is the Police. Uh, last time, we finished off a few more investigations. Um, we also came across a construction company of some sort. They were kind of shady. Talked about how, you know, they, they wanted um, a few people there to basically stop some protesters in a park. Um, or else they'd be part of the foundation. So... You know, I figured I'd, you know, try and stop, you know, innocent people from being, you know, mixed in the concrete. Um, but apparently that's opened up a whole new tab for us, so we're actually going to check out what that's, uh, what's, that's, what it's going to do. Hey Lord Zader, how's it going? So let's continue then. Um, I think that was pretty much it. The other stuff was pretty much same sort of stuff we were looking at before. We... Oh gosh, City Hall hates us. Wow. Um, okay, I, I guess... Hmm. I wonder why that happened. Wow, and this is all Mayor Rogers is displeased with the department. Wow, damn, what the hell did I do? I don't remember doing anything in particularly yesterday. All right then, uh, I suppose let's start the day. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna pick something random. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. Uh, please be advised, we're unhappy with the efficiency of the, uh, Freeburg PD, and we're cutting the department budget. Are you fucking serious, man? Wow. What an ungrateful asshole. Um. I guess I'll take the one with the lowest professionalism out, I suppose. Yeah. Wow, okay. Mafia, my share. Um, let's share 50% with my staff. And everything was not. or everything was denied, basically. Because for some reason. Oh, that guy died. That, that was sad. And that guy also died. Hmm. Alright then, we got some armed robbery to start of the day. Uh, three junk men entered the uh, all-night store, grabbed a drink of Diet Coke, uh, and when the shopkeeper walked in the back of the room, uh, they climbed uh, from behind the counter and grabbed the shotgun and wounded the shopkeeper. Uh, the shopkeeper's wife, uh, who's on the second floor, called the police. Okay. That's pretty serious. Send three people over. Now, what is going on here? Oh, uh, yeah, we solved a few of these yes to... What? Oh, we have to... Yeah, we have to choose which one the guy's gonna be at. And, of course, this is the weird part of the investigations, right? Because investigations, you have basically someone who's, like, working something. And then you get, like, this... You, when you do all that work, it's like a 50-50 shot of where did he go. Hey, Dirge Extreme, how's it going? Uh, alright, what do we got here? Suspicious individual. Um, the black handsome barber, uh, called in to report a man in a hood and sunglasses asked for a haircut so that no one could recognize him. Uh, hairdresser Emmett Brooks suspects that he, uh, the man may be, um, on the run from the law. He even agreed, uh, to dye his hair blonde. That's, uh, there's obviously something wrong. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I can understand that, I suppose. Uh, let's see if we can open up, uh, another thing here. Some drug sales. Oh, everybody's closed for that day. Okay, so I'll have to wait till the next shift. But yeah, you know, just generally doing what, you know, police do in this game, which is just go after calls. Nothing crazy happened, except... Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, moving's tough. Alright, um, so we got this Atticus Corp. And, um, last time we helped them out with, like, basically enforcing, a. Uh, like the perimeter of uh, where they were building a skyscraper. So let's see what we got here. We can do um, eight of your luxury um, eight of your luxury subordinates uh, can uh, go to a, a luxury house, party and relax. Oh, okay, interesting. So it's like a more expensive barbecue. Safe firing. Uh, if you want to get rid of an employee, uh, we can offer a place for them in the Atticus security detail. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, cool. Uh, we'll even write uh, their letter of resignation. Interesting. So you basically switch them up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Atticus Corp um, would be happy to make a donation. Oh, so we could buy officer slots and detective slots if we want to. Ooh. And let's see. A bank account uh, which prosecutor's office can't possibly access. If anybody um, is investigating you, they won't be able to find your money. That's cool. I like that. Oh man, so we can start using this money to, to buy extra slots. Well, you know what? <laughs> oh no, wait, wrong one. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get my officer slot. Fuck yeah. Oh boy, what do we got here? Uh, the women uh, are having fun drinking alcohol and throwing food around the store. When they see the police, one of them grabs a shotgun and opens fire. Freaking A. No, no, the back entrance, man. Uh, work around the store and use the back door. Sweet. Sweet, so I can, I can basically, like, pay to win <laughs> for all my stuff here. Alright, definitely we'll add Jackie Kemp to the mix. Uh, which thing am I doing here? A or B? Ah, A, it looks like. Alright, hire for shift A. Wonderful. That's awesome. So, fuck City Hall. We can just buy our way to victory. Uh, I do need more people for this, unfortunately. I think we'll we'll be in time for this, assuming nothing else happens. Report for the suspicious individual. The man just wanted to surprise uh, his wife on their wedding anniversary. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got a shooting in the ghetto. Uh, Carmelo um, Cohen. Um, has been fighting his 42-year-old mother's, um, 23-year-old boyfriend. A neighbor called the police and said that these people have been at it for a long time, shouting at each other in the street. Uh, then, um, things suddenly went downhill fast. They started fighting, the son pulled a gun and opened fire on the others. The woman, uh, was shot in the leg, and her boyfriend got at least three shots in the stomach. Ooh, jeez. Um, what's this one? We got an abduction. Kindergarten teacher, um... Carolina Cunningham reports that um, Evelintina uh, Vasilia burst into the nursery, grabbed her son, and tried to run. Uh, the school knew she lost custody in the divorce, uh, so security stopped her as she tried to escape through the exit. Uh, now the suspect has locked herself in the room and is demanding that the school release her son. Okay, let's send you two. And then we'll also respond to this one. Hopefully three will be enough. Alright. Sweet. That should work out. Alright, I got two extra people just in case something else happens, like right now. Let's see, an elderly disabled woman uh, watched from her window as a mother struck her uh, young son in the face and then began to uh, drown him in an inflatable pool. Hurry, cried the woman, um, cried the old woman, send uh, someone to save the boy. Oh boy. Ah, oh, crap, really? Suspicious individual. A young uh, waitress reports that a wanted uh, fugitive just entered her restaurant. I don't remember what his name is or what he did, uh, but the TV said he was very, very dangerous. Well, I don't have anybody to respond to that right now. The children and uh, caregivers are crowding around the door. Hmm. This is one of those things where you probably want to do this calmly. So let's find another entrance to the room. Uh, behind the door, a child is yelling and then uh, speaks in the murmur, I want daddy. In the background, uh, there's a sound of someone uh, trying to open a window. Send a very sweet and friendly child into investigate. That's that's a little weird. Uh, knock on the door. Hmm. The Santa Claus route. Well, I don't want to have like you sent fifty toddlers out in the street and then immediately got hit by like an SUV or something like that. So I try to like to do things as safe as possible, but sometimes you gotta go for it. This is the police. Name of the game. All right. That seemed to work. Refuse help? 
Yeah, we got a dude who's freaking 1,250 now. You don't need backup. Pfft. Frickin' city hall. Oh, uh, well, let's see. I can't. Ooh, I don't think I'd be able to res do this, this individual one. It's, uh, uh, no! Oh, it was a false alarm anyway. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the man was uh, Manuel um, Torreblanca. Uh, Latin American soap opera star. Uh, the waitress just uh, saw an advertisement for Mr. Torblanca's show and mixed it up with the police bulletin um, about the wanted list. And child abuse report? Wonderful. Alright. Alright, what do we got here? Mr. Boyd, uh, we were able to demolish the park next to the sky... Excuse me, skyscraper. Uh, but now there's another problem. We've begun work at the site uh, and someone has uh, been sneaking in at night and stealing construction materials. Um, either my guards are half deaf, or they're in it with the thieves. Send over a few of your men and have, uh, them cover the perimeter and grab anyone suspicious, but don't, um, don't take the thieves to the police station. We'll deal with the bastards my way. Alright, sure. This sounds fun. Now granted, something else is gonna come up and it's gonna be, like, some crazy... It's gonna be some crazy, like, 50... People from the insane asylum just escaped and blah 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 blah. Uh, Jack, we have uh, something going down today at the Lucifer in the Sky with Lizards Nightclub. What the hell is that name? At a uh, 2300. Um, we wouldn't want any uh, policemen crashing the party. I think 3500 should be enough for such a request. Sure thing, buddy. Have to remember it, though. <sighs> All right. A stoned uh, voice shouted into the emergency line that uh, some guy in a top hat was going uh, to saw a woman in half in the park. Um, the animal has no limits. Um, he's going to kill the poor girl. Um, he's been chanting to the crowds of crazies who gathered around to watch. Um, it's like uh, some sort of sacrifice. Please send every cop you can. It's a fucking magician show. It's a fucking magician show. The dude thinks, holy shit, he's actually gonna saw her in half. At least I hope. Hey, we got $8,000. Attempted murder. False alarm. What do we have here? We got a fight at the beach. There's been a lot of fights at the beach recently. Uh, four black women with shovels and metal detectors were walking along the beach and someone came upon something valuable. Um, first, they hurried uh, to... Uh, dig up their uh, big find, uh, but when they finished digging, um, they began to swear and argue over each other's shares. Uh, the man with the uh, gray beard got tired of his friend and bashed the guy in the head with a metal detector. He fell over dead on the sand. The remaining three um, are still going at it. The eyewitnesses called the police um, and recommends that we hurry. All right, can I send three over? Is that not enough? Well, I can send three over. You figure, um, like a ratio of one police officer to every, like, assailant would be fine. Alright, what do we have out here? We got a theft, um, Pavel, um, Hlub said that, uh, he paid a girl to spend, uh, the night with him last night in the morning. Uh, he said goodbye to her, but later, uh, when he went to the closet, he found some jewelry where 3,000 had disappeared. Uh, Mr. Hlub uh, it's prepared to show the police uh, where the girl can be f um, can usually be found. All right. <laughs> oh my. All right. Report on the fight. Wonderful. We've got like a good. My shift B is really strong. Like nobody's like soon. Hunter's gonna be above 500, and we'll have nobody below 500. It's pretty wild. Let's see, a fight broke out in the Butterflies on Crack um, Punk Rock Concert. Oh, this is the one I'm supposed to ignore. <laughs> Although I like I like the Butterflies on Crack band. That's, that's fun. And an abduction report. Alright, we can open the investigation. Alright, let's see what we have here. We actually have a, a few frames now. Let's see. Um, Gladys McCain, uh, the daughter's mother. Uh, my husband and I are divorced, uh, and he's uh, suing for full custody of Alex. Um, that's, that's, 
I've never seen that spelling of Alex before. But yes, that's... Yeah, all right. Uh, my lawyer um, says his chances are zero, uh, but I think... Uh, and I think he knows it too. Now it looks like he's decided not to wait for the courts. Uh, just takes whatever he wants, like alcohol always do. Um, like alcoholics always do. Uh, but how... Um, could he do uh, this to his own daughter? Uh, he must have used one of his cronies to help grab her. Um, let's see, they're always um, hitting the bottle um, and ready for trouble. He and his whole family are a bunch of drunks and a bunch of trouble. Alright, let's see, and Mr. McCain. Uh, first, I've been sober um, as a judge for a month now. I go to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings um, all the time. Second, uh, I only let Alex out of my sight for one second. Um, it was uh, Timothy Galler. Um, it was Timothy Galler came up. Um, uh, he's great. Okay. Uh, we talked for um, uh, just a second uh, while my daughter was playing uh, by the hill. Uh, when I turned to check on her, she was nowhere, completely gone. Uh, I think um, Gladys, um, who made off with her, interesting. Uh, she's already uh, trying to set the judge against me. Uh, she always says, I'm an unfit to be father. Okay, so we've got basically like two different um, conflicting stories there. Let's see. Yes, I saw Gordon and his daughter at the park. Uh, we just talked for a moment. Um, he was going to uh, walk with her down the hill, uh, so I shook his hand and left. Oh, that's Mr. Geller. All right, so that was the, that's the dude, a friend from AA. Interesting. So that confirms his story, but also he could be lying. Adrian. A teenager in a corn costume. Okay, uh, I was handling out, handing out leaflets in the park. I noticed two men drinking whiskey straight from the bottle, uh, sitting on a bench near a roller coaster. Then I saw a girl in a blue dress. She was playing near the hill, um, and then she went down to pick up something from the ground. Uh, then an elderly uh, woman walked up, and she took the girl by the hand and walked away. Uh, the woman uh, walked like she was dizzy. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Mr. Holmes, um, a valet. Uh, I didn't see anything suspicious. A drunk driver uh, hit a trash can in the parking lot. Uh, some of the uh, light and left some light paint behind. Uh, then drove off like nothing happened. Interesting. Interesting. So we definitely have like him with his buddy drinking at the park. And like finding the doll. And then an old lady abducts her. Holy shit, I did it! <laughs> I freaking did it! Uh, Judith McCain is a hard drinking grandmother, decided uh, no court has the right to take away her granddaughter. <laughs> holy shit! It was. <laughs> holy crap! Damn! Uh, so, abduction trailer park. There's only one option. Alright. Damn, we're actually going to get someone today. And send the SWAT after... No, we don't have to send SWAT over the old lady. And uh, theft report. Damn, that's like one of the first times like it's, it's happened that quickly. We found jewelry sell to the Mafia. <laughs> hey, Trezati, how's it going? I know, usually it doesn't work like that. I have to wait a few days. I get the wrong frames. Like, that's the first time I was like, bam, 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 worked. And report on the massive fight, which was um, Christopher Sands' thing. Uh, and yeah, I got some money for it. So wonderful. All right, and we got one more thing. They're uh, picking up the um, grandmother abduction thing. Granny's got a gun. Take her down. <laughs> oh gosh. Does that mean Mole actually gets two things? Yeah, the mafia is my best friend. Yeah. Yeah, Mole actually gets two. Oh, I didn't notice that. So, it looks like all the investigators that are part of the investigation always get it, like, when you finish it. And it's been so long since this has actually happened. But the lead investigator actually gets experience twice. Also, Mole's fucking badass. Alright, let's end the day. Excellent. How's my shift day looking? Um... Yeah, NA is leaving, but someone else is coming in tomorrow. Kemp, I believe, yeah. So we'll have we'll have a good we'll have a good set tomorrow. Alright, let's see what's going on. I love that I can I can now use bit I, oh <laughs> if you weren't here, Trizadi, earlier, um we basically found some corporation and they they like 
to have a little bit of uh, police backup every once in a while to help with their uh, construction projects. But we can actually use them to basically bribe City Hall to give us extra slots for detectives and officers. So even if City Hall hates us, we can just be like, <laughs> fuck you, I'll spend like $22,000 and just get my uh, get all my crap back, so screw that guy. Fantastic. Alright, uh, nudists demand private beach in the city. I would like that, because holy shit, the amount of things I've had to respond to dealing with nudists is kind of ridiculous. Hey, Gonboy, how's it going? And thanks for the host. And hey, Creeper. Uh, let's see. Homelessness increased by 13%, and juvenile vandals forced to clean graffiti. Alright. Let's go. Alright, looks like we're good to go. I know, Convoy. It's so sad. It's so sad. I always try to load it up. One day, it'll work and I'll stream that game. One day. Alright, send cops to the Academy, City Hall. Accounting to recent reports, FPD is hiring police academy graduates uh, with uh, the lowest grades. Uh, this is shameful, uh, not just for you, but for the entire city. In the next two days, uh, send at least four cops in for uh, retraining. Um, if you can't teach them anything, let the professionals step in. That's not too bad, actually. I can do that. <laughs> More like no man's computer can run it, it's true. I did see your fan art creeper. It was, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Okay, Trizadi, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Uh, let's see. Enjoy your run. Uh, let's see here. So this is totally doable. Um, we just have to, like, send a few people out for training. Um, alright, so let's go to the deputy first. We need to hire a snitch. Uh, yes. Uh, Fitzsimmons, you're our new snitch. Um, if you are going to hire a snitch, I always think it's best to hire... Actually, we could hire Hall to be a snitch. Let's hire Hall to be a snitch. Sure, why not? Oh, okay, no problem. Alright then. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we got a thing right away. We got a shooting. Uh, an office employee uh, came to work earlier than usual um, and heard gunshots and screams coming from um, uh, coming from up on the roof. I always uh, work on the top floor and I've never noticed anything like this before. If this is a false alarm... Ah, this is the Atticus Corp. Nice. So yeah, more buildings are going to open up, which is pretty cool. All unlawful assembly. Uh, abortion opponents have um, blockaded the women's clinic. Uh, they're acting very aggressively, shouting abortion is murder, abortion is sin. Uh, no one dares approach, but the doctors and the nurses are afraid to leave the building. Ooh, I can't respond to that. No, I did respond, Creeper. Gotta listen. Alright. Let's see, they're shooting. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, it turns out the roof is being used uh, for the final skyscraper scene of a uh, new action movie, Bloody Shirt 5, Johnny's New Look. I had a feeling. Like this endangerment. I don't think I'm going to be back in time for that um, thing. Uh, a group of pranksters have been uh, tossing purses on the sidewalk, uh, tied to a, th a thin thread. Uh, they pull the thread across, uh, attach to the purse, and load the curious passerbys into a dumpster in the alley. This is not the first complaint uh, we've gotten about these pranksters. The other day, one of the victims was so scared they tossed her in the dustbin, and she lost consciousness and still hasn't recovered. Jeez. Oh, Alright, send you two out. And nope, I'm not going to be able to make it. Unlawful assembly. Wow, and a civilian killed shit. Alright, uh, someone needs to- oh, damn it. Uh, there's a hundred dollar bill in the street and a few teenagers are, uh, poking their heads up from the corner. Quietly enter the alley from the other side. There we go. What do we got there? We have fraud. Uh, let me wait till we get some officers back. There we go. Um, 
A man who wished uh, to remain anonymous told us the address of another man uh, who was engaged in the production of a sale of fake documents, certificates, and other papers in high demands these days. This guy's price has skyrocketed and the quality is just as bad as before. Alright, uh, Fitzsimmons and Robbins, go for it. Hey, you might have been on to something, actually. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Mr. Boyd, um, my foreign cooks have really gotten out of hand. They started uh, spitting the food and putting all sorts of strange things, uh, like some sort of joke. Um, it wouldn't matter, except several visitors began to notice they're eating foreign objects, and they started to complain. Uh, I tried to talk with the staff, uh, but they nod and agree. Um, and they continue to wreak havoc. Uh, please send a couple of men here. Uh, maybe intimidate them uh, with jail time or deportation. Uh, but make sure these threats stay... Um, uh, threats just stay threats. Uh, can't afford to be without cooks even for one day. Okay. Um, I actually want to respond to one of these things. Now, we either go to the suburb or the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. Kemp and Vandal go for it. Hopefully that's the right spot. Otherwise, it's going to be like, oh, <laughs> you failed to catch the guy. Too bad. Shit, I meant to click the hospital. Fuck. Alright, um, from the ghetto. Uh, no one responded uh, to the knock on the door, so the police uh, knock down and enter the apartment. The man is wearing glasses and uh, pops out of the room and presents a federal uh, agent ID. Inspect the ID. I mean, we're not exactly the most clean police, uh, the Blue Pickle, so understandable. Uh, let's see here. A seller at a... His ID says barbecue, yes, so that was a pretty easy one. <laughs> a seller at a gift shop noticed a brightly dressed Mexican woman suffering from... Um, or, oh, stuffing a statue of the Freeburg Monument into her bag. Uh, then she kept on shopping and trying things on, uh, so I followed her. She paid for everything in cash except the figurine. I uh, asked the security guard to stop her, uh, but some big guy stepped in and the thief escaped. Okay, Chin and Platonic go for it. All right. And the theft report. Wrong place. Hey, it didn't screw me over this time. I can actually go check the other place now, which is wonderful. Great. I was afraid that would uh, that would screw me over. All right. Wait till they get back. I mean, I could respond to this, I suppose. Ooh, what do we got? Theft report. Um. The girl turned out to be a pop star, Elena Mores, uh, who was visiting Freeburg uh, while on a tour. The big man who stepped in was her bodyguard. She was collecting souvenirs in local shops and just forgot the statuette in the bag. I couldn't fit everything in my hands, apologized Alana. Uh, the seller didn't recognize her. I don't listen to pop music, but she accepted the autograph uh, from the singer anyway. <laughs> You're Batman. Let's see what we got here. We got reckless endangerment. Leroy Everett noticed uh, two men apparently, um, sorry, uh, noticed two apparently smoke-filled teenagers sitting on the uh, side of the road, um, taking turns at playing Russian roulette. Oh shit! Uh, we we need to send a few people over there. Let's see. And, yeah, let's let's try to catch this guy and be done with this investigation. Of course, I go for the investigation and something else opens. Oh, gosh. We have a hostage situation with a fatal casualty. A passerby saw someone in, um, some masked gunman flee a bank carrying some big bags and ran to the apartment building. It looked, uh, to me like one of the robbers was wounded. Interesting. All right, well, that's kind of too bad. I've got, like, two people coming back. Everybody else is going, so... Yep. Bad timing. Yeah, because that's going to need a lot more than just two people. Reckless endangerment. Wonderful. Theft report. Fender caught. Wonderful. And the case is closed. Alright, let's open another investigation here. Let's uh, reopen the drug uh, case here. Let's put shit.
Sharrow in, and these guys as well. Hostage situation. <laughs> Offender escaped. Ah, uh, damn it. How about this one? What's this? Suspicious individual? Naomi Rutherford uh, is gravely concerned that the city is being invaded by communists. I saw right outside my window a whole family wearing uh, red tracksuits uh, with the letters USSR written on them. I haven't seen anyone holding a, um, a hammer or sickle. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> but I know it in my heart. It's just like the past 200 years. They've shed blood and sweat for the democracy of ours. Um, and we won't just give it to these commies without a fight. <laughs> oh, gosh. I say, uh, let them come at us with everything they got. Um, let's just send you guys over to, like, stop, like, paranoid people. Friggin' A. Alright, once the other guy's back, I'll set the other guy on the team as well. What do we got? We got a fight. Uh, let's see. Christopher G. Sin. Okay, a uh, few girls got in a fight uh, while they were uh, waiting in line for tickets to uh, Larry Pistol concert. Alright, I, I have people available now. Might as well send three people, I suppose. If you need a paddy wagon, you probably should send more people. Alright, investigations. Um, detectives. Uh, Beasley's now open. Which is wonderful. Shadow's got a few, like, thing... Or maybe I should just go... Uh, let's give him a little bit more experience, shall we? Well, hopefully by the end of the day, they'll give me some cool stuff. And by cool stuff, I mean... Uh, Good stuff. Oh, the woman seems to have um, been startled by the Britain family, immigrants from the Soviet Union, uh, who arrived in town just today and um, haven't had the time to buy new clothes. Yep. <laughs> Paranoia. All right, report on the drug sales. Oop, all right, let's see. Let's. We got a few more frames. All right, so... I want a white jacket. That's definitely near the end. Now, is it cocaine, or... I don't know what that would be. Or maybe... I don't, I don't freaking know. Uh, let me see here. It was cocaine, alright. Or is it, like, bad cocaine? <laughs> I, I don't know. What's that brown stuff? Uh, the toilet. Cocaine bag sitting in a pool of blood. Alright, so I guess it's that, but we just don't have the right... Uh, oh, wait, it would be this way. Ah, there we go, nice! It was the yellow stuff! <laughs> the dried mustard seed! <laughs> it's spicy! Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dirge. Man, we got everybody in this one, nice. Uh, so let's see, the Atlanta Funeral Home, or... Uh, the University of Freeburg. Oh, already there. All right, let's send some more. Could probably respond to that tomorrow if need be. I'd rather go to it, though. He works at the Atlanta Funeral Home. And Bruno Savani is dedicated to... What time is it? Oh no, I couldn't respond to it. Shit, if I was a little faster. I couldn't decide. It's okay, I'll be able to get it in the next day or so. Alright. See how this went. Defender caught. Officers unharmed. Wonderful. A lot of attention for what... It was like two girls who broke out in a fight in an ice rink? Kind of crazy. Alright. Alright. Sweet. End the day. Alright, what do we got here? Classroom horrified. Uh, oh shit, I need to um, send people to the academy. Mustard's bad. <laughs> Mustard's real bad. Uh, call them yellow noses. Because you can just see it when they sniff all the mustard. Uh, let's see. Uh, classroom horrified when field chemistry experiment claims teacher's life. Oh, gosh. Uh, Port Union um, uh, threatens strike and farmers grow record-breaking zucchini. All right. Good, good. Uh, 
Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I was up all night reading an exciting. No, you're not. You're not. No, you're coming to work. Damn it. Uh, do 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 this one. So I have to send people to a police academy for a small period of time. Let me take a look at the affairs quickly here. In the next two days, I have to send at least four cops in for training. Well, desperate measures. Hunter? Sure. Huang? Oh, actually, Williams, go for it. Actually, Marlo, you should go to train up my uh, my investigators. Actually, I'm doing good, combo, Yeah. And one more. All right, Huang, go for it. We'll send cops to the academy. Uh, Jack, keep the good work. We'll make sure your final days at Freeburg P are much more comfortable. Oh, Nelly Frittata. Let's, let's accept that. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow's the deadline. And my snitch was killed. Shit. We got an abduction on Route 22. A witness uh, found a rusty white truck um, that's wanted in connection with the uh, schoolyard kidnapping of 13-year-old uh, Tanya Rodriguez. Uh, the machine is uh, sitting in the field. There's been no movement or uh, uh, sign of life for over two hours. We got to at least send some people over. Alright, um... Let's go to Freeburg University. Not a wrong day. Oops. Investigations. Can I open one today? Not done! Uh, let's open up the arm uh, arson case. Proceed. We got here an assault. A 50-year-old Amanda Price attacked young waitress uh, claiming the girl was flirting with her husband. Amanda grabbed the waitress by the hair and dragged her across the floor yelling, um, you bent over uh, so far your tits almost flopped on the menu. <laughs> no, that's just good customer service. Um, let's see here. Alright, next two days. Um, can I declare dead? I could fire a dead man. That's crazy, too. Uh, let's declare dead. Uh, and then we can hire... Javier Faust. For which shift? Shift A. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. I think we're good here. We're all set. Uh, suddenly strange sounds uh, start coming from the van, the windows are frosted over, and it's possible to tell what's going on inside. Open the door. Um, there's a man inside playing with girls dolls. Uh, take the girl away and tell her uh, she can finish playing uh, in the police car and then arrest the man. Beat the man senseless or grab the man by the neck and arrest him. Let's try to do this calmly. He was only two weeks from retirement, I know, right? <laughs> Damn it. See, that's why you, you want to... If you do hire a snitch, don't hire someone important because there is this raised possibility that they will get killed. Um, and you do need them or else you won't be able to catch federal investigations uh, when they happen to you. Which, if you do a lot of stuff with the Mafia like I do, it's going to happen. Alright, we got an assault on the port. Or on the assault here. Excellent. Yeah, nobody's under 500. This is a fantastic, like, team here. Terrorism? Oh boy, uh, Mr. Norris called in to report an explosion. I was in the kitchen making an omelet with bacon and suddenly, bang, the explosion shook my windows. I'm a former military man and I'd say it was about 10 pounds of TNT, no less.
I'm keeping the odd person out just in case I need to respond to, like, City Hall phone calls or something. Excuse me. I mean, it's, it's probably a false alarm. It's probably a false alarm, but you can't not go to those things because they're pretty serious. <laughs> I mean, the blue pickle, you can. In this game, there's usually options where, like, you can do, like, the badass 80s cop movie thing where you can, like, either use one-liners or, like, drive your, your police cruiser through the shop or something. Like, you can do some wild stuff, and sometimes it's super effective. Other times, it's, like, reckless endangerment, and it's really bad. Uh, the young uh, businessman Raul um, has that came to the police um, about a minor uh, city official, Jasper Remond, uh, who has demanded a bribe of $20,000. Otherwise, he's refusing necessary permits for Haddock's store. The businessman has volunteered to pretend uh, he's delivering the bribe uh, so the police can catch uh, Raymond in the act. Or Redmond in the act. All right. Well, I can send people over now. Wonderful. <laughs> no, I, I'm a, a, yeah. Let's see here. Oh, geez, what is going on? All right, terrorism. Yep, Mr. Mr. Norris is, uh, neighbors are performing a major, um, renovations in their house. The man, uh, heard them doing some demolition. Yeah, thought so. All right, well, let's read both these just to see which one I, I should respond to first, because I feel like I'm only going to be able to respond to one of these, probably. A young sailor reported an attempt on his life. I was just swimming around um, close to the shore, and I felt someone's uh, slippery fingers catch my ankle and try to drag me down. I barely escaped. Uh, you can laugh, but I know for a fact it was definitely a mermaid. I was in the Navy. I know all about them. Okay, so we're not responding to that one. Uh, <laughs> attempted carjacking. A port employee saw two men uh, trying to break into a truck. Uh, they were unable uh, to get it started, so they unhooked the uh, truck's trailer, um, and now they're uh, trying to make off with it. Oh, we got the abuse of authority in City Hall. Police are uh, in the office um, as soon as the money uh, changes hands. Uh, Redmond tries to quickly hide a large parcel in the drawer. Show us what's in the package. The official quickly jumps and rushes towards the window, uh, trying in vain to get it open. Grab him and uh, get him to the ground. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, and one of these things. Homicide. Two dozen homeless people uh, have settled outside the city uh, where they've organized a small camp. There's very, uh, They're very aggressive to strangers. They attack and beat outsiders and according to a uh, rumor, kill them and sometimes even eat them. The anonymous source also um, said to look at their gardens. They grow narcotics beside the vegetables. So we've got like some crazy... It's like a cult. It's like a weird cannibal homeless cult. I mean, we can respond to that in a minute, which is pretty nuts. Oh, come on! Oh, yes! Alright, um... There we go. And the report on the attempted murder. The sailor's leg was snagged by an overgrown, uh, fleshy algae that grows near the shore. Alright, what do we have here? We have a shooting. Uh, Mr. Norris called in about, uh, heard some, um, in about some shots, uh, he heard from the street. I was, uh, frying a steak in the kitchen, and I heard several sharp, uh, claps. I think it was an M16. I'm ex-military. I know what I'm saying. You better watch out. Those are some big guns. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Um. Are those guys going or coming? They're going. SWAT and three people. <laughs> yeah, gone boy. Oh boy. So now this homicide thing might actually be false as well. So we we kind of have to see what happens here. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, send another guy and just assume that that's going to be bullshit. What is this? Human trafficking. Uh, an import, uh, an informant reports that some containers are being smuggled in the port. Uh, the illegal immigrants hiding inside are to be sold as slaves, and the shipment is accompanied by armed guards. Well, I'm a little tied up at the moment. 
Holy crap, what is going on? Uh, it was just a children's birthday party going on um, in the house out uh, beside uh, Mr. Norris. Uh, the guests popped a few balloons. Mr. Norris confused uh, pops with gunshots. Wow, I'm getting a lot of like false reports from ex-military. But one of these times it's actually going to be serious and I'm going to be like really, really upset I didn't go to it. An early uh, woman uh, made a scandalous accusation at the pharmacy. She claimed that the pharmacist uh, substituted her medication, and because of them, she's gaining weight. Uh, look at these wrinkles. It's disgusting. Then the outraged woman uh, took off her dress. Well, you're going to have to live with some, some old lady nasty parts. Sorterly conduct. I, d I would have... I would have actually been, like, incredibly, like, surprised if someone died there. But it would also be hilarious if some, like, elderly woman who took off <laughs> saggy flapjacks. <laughs> it would have been really awful if someone died during the encounter. <laughs> that would be great if they wrote a line in there, like, th like the 1 or 5% chance that someone dies. Um, you know, uh, what uh, because the woman uh, revealed her full regalia or whatever um you know like the uh, pharmacist suffered a fatal heart attack <laughs> that would have been freaking amazing attempted carjacking offender caught and <laughs> human trafficking i'm not sure three is gonna be enough but i'll try i i did it homicide report The offenders escaped, but no one was killed, so we just have, like, some crazy homeless cult that, you know, grow narcotics and, and eat humans. Fine. Alright. You know, it makes, you know, it makes the city a little bit more exciting to think, you know, you could be out over here, and it might be the last day of your life, and you might actually be someone's dinner. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> what do we got? An assault? Um, back in heat. Um... A man who lost a large sum of money at a poker table attacked the female dealer. Alright, let's send some people over. Like three people, sure. Arson report. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright. Uh, we don't have that many things, but we actually have a lot of frames. So this might have worked. I don't have to pay for this, do I, Mr. Pharmacist? Woohoo! <laughs> like, she just forgets that she's an old woman and just, like, tries to, like, woo every man still. That'd be great. Alright, let's see, there's a nurse. Uh, let's see, I was about to uh, go home uh, when the building suddenly lost power. And it got really quiet. Then I heard a muffled noise, uh, like a little clap, uh, just down the street. Uh, the building um, had about ten employees. I didn't notice the smoke at first, and then I saw the fire begin and um, to um, I saw the fire. Wait, and when I saw the fire, I began to yell, but it was too late. Some people just didn't make it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh gosh, the doctor. At the time of the tragedy, um, I should have been. Um, I should have already been home. I was leaving, and I ran to uh, Ronald Sherman on the street. Uh, he's the ex-husband of one of our patients who decided uh, not to have uh, her child um, after she consulted with the Freeburg Birth Control Union. Uh, after Mr. Sherman openly quarreled with his wife, I understand uh, he beat her, and later uh, they divorced. Uh, since then, uh, he's come to our offices several times. And on uh, the evening of the fire, he was standing across the road wearing a, a large backpack. Um, he made a point of walking past me, uh, and he muttered something in the spirit of burn to hell, bitch. I thought how close I was, um, I was already, um, sorry, I already was to hell. Uh, if people could wear such ugly rare, um, if people could wear such ugly red sweaters. Okay, interesting. The Colton Slav, Flabby, Flabby Sapjacks, Flabby Sapjacks, Flabby Saggy Flapjacks, that's the way it is. Wait, really? I never heard of that blue pickle. Oh my. The fire was started uh, with a small plastic container uh, filled with accelerant, uh, which was thrown from the street, um, 
through a window. Uh, then the fire began, and the building was um, already without power, uh, which interfered with the uh, usual evacuation plan. Damage to the external cables show that um, uh, they were not cut, but they simply pulled away the wall by force. Oh, gotcha. Autocorrect. Okay. <laughs> I was even more confused, Blue Pickle. I'm like, what? Really? The Amish do that? Okay. <laughs> Autocorrect. Uh, let me see. All right, convoy. Good night. Have a good one. All right. So, they say it was a plastic container. Now, it's either a man in a red sweater or a man in... Um, Like, I don't know what... Do you see the cables were fried? Let me see. The cables show they were not cut, but simply pulled away from by force. So, definitely... Ooh, maybe it was this. Ha ha! I did it. Alright, let's see. Uh, Ronald Sherman, the former spouse of Freeburg uh, Birth Control um, Union client, uh, he blames the center for destroying his family. So, we can go to the suburb or motel. He's divorced, so he wouldn't be... Uh, with his wife, although I don't have enough police officers to respond to this. Human trafficking, wonderful. And fun on automatic weapons. Now, am I going to get people in time to be able to respond to this? I hope so. We'll have to see. Nope. Alright. Oh yeah, this is the guy upset at the, uh... The poker place. Uh, why, why are you cheating, bitch? Uh, the main uh, in the yellow jacket is pointing a gun uh, right to the girl's face. Casino security are curiously watching uh, the action from behind the slot machines. Um, okay, now we can pull out a gun and shoot the guy. Which would work. But. There is. There is the chance. That he's so self-centered. That he would actually respond to. Where'd you get such a gorgeous jacket? Let's do that. Uh, the man is squeezing the girl's hand. Saying I don't know uh, how. I know how to put an end to your uh, sleight of hand. Let's see how uh, well. Uh your palm cards when you're missing your fingers. Shoot the man with a taser. There we go. But that Gucci check. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, damn it. He wasn't, he wasn't. Actually, it's funny. Most of the times in this game, uh, if you're, if the perpetrator is an artist, most of the time they will respond positively to asking them about their work. And they're like, openly just like, oh yes, I'll tell you everything about my work. And then like, you arrest them. It's hilarious. Alright, uh, and we'll end the day. Wonderful. What time is it? Alright, we got some time. Sweet. Alright, ambulance driver takes down robber addict. Uh, immigrants in city up by 19%. Uh, Bishop demands a uh, name change for Holy House Pizza. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Oh yeah! Police station is liking us now. Let's go to work. Now granted, of course, that could all go down the toilet because all of a sudden they'll be like, Oh, so friggin... You know, we want to do some racist bullshit that increases the PR of our city. And I'll be like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> My father's funeral today. Can um, you relieve me so I can go... Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's acceptable. Start of the day. Um, I like fire in the brain. Let's do it. I wish you could set these on repeat or like set like a schedule to like, I don't know, have someone change them out. Because there's, I always play one of them and then forget about it. Alright, so, uh, beginning of the day, let's go to University of Freeburg. Sending Simmons and Beard. Salary from the City Hall, nice. Oh gosh, what's going on? We got a bomb threat. Uh, the corn monument has been uh, strapped with explosives. Um, a clear voice yelled into the phone. Wait, 
The corner money has been strapped with explosives. Oh, the clear voice yelled into the phone, uh, and then the line, le uh, the line went dead. Okay, that could be false. Attempted robbery. Uh, Jen uh, Salazar Guerrero uh, startled an intruder who was uh, talking, or uh, was trying to break into her house. Um, he kept yelling things in a drunken voice, said if I didn't open up, there'd be trouble. And what about this one? We have assault. A young woman, um, a young man became outraged when an elderly woman uh, broke in line in front of him. He struck her with force. Um, the cleaning woman uh, tried to intervene, uh, but she came under blows as well. It could be. I also might have, you know, just, you know, doomed, like, you know, the monument uh, in Freeburg, which is the giant corn cob, so. Whoops! <laughs> Truck sales. Long place. Alright, well then we'll send two people there when we have the chance. Oh gosh, what's going on? Bomb threat. It wasn't a bomb, some children decide to play terrorist. What the fuck? And tape some wires to a normal shoebox. What the fuck? You don't, you don't play terrorist. What the fuck? That's awful. Arrest those children. Throw them in jail. A shoebox with some wires. It could have been terrible. Fuck. Kids these days. A uh, drunken man mistakenly thought he was breaking into his own house and that his wife uh, was refusing to let him in. And we caught the offender. And what is this? We have drug use. Uh, Mr. House called um, in a complaint about some addicts who are uh, loitering around Edgar Allan Poe Monument. Uh, they're turning their brains to mush. Uh, they're shooting up there in the park in broad daylight, no shame, no conscience. Can I send two people over, or is that not enough? Oh, I can send two people over. Uh, we've attempted, uh... Okay. Well, I'm gonna send two people over, like, just to actually be there. Otherwise... Whatevs. Execute them! <laughs> Nobody fucks with my corn cob! <laughs> oh boy. And, uh, let's... Oh, there we go. Uh, several overgrown men, um... Oh, oh, sorry, overgrown men uh, in dirty clothes are leaning up against the monument. It seems they are sedated. Uh, next to them are a few syringes and tourniquets. Um, shake the addicts awake and reach them the, uh, read them their rights. Um, one of the addicts says cops and tries to crawl away. Grab the addict. That wasn't that hard. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. And, uh, let's respond to this call. Or the, uh, the investigation. And I think the rest of the investigations... I mean, I'll just open up this one and stay with it. I know, right, Dirge? Who freaking does that? Why? Why? I guess, you know, this, this... We basically dated this game to being in 1985 because it was, like, the release of Back to the Future came out or something like that, so. Yeah. It was a different time back then, but holy crap, that's, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Freaking, it's terrible. Let's see. Uh, students report a serious fight uh, going down the street outside their dorm. Uh, several people are shooting at each other with machine guns. Right in the middle of the road, pedestrians are uh, hiding behind cars and someone is bleeding on the pavement. Um, this is all the markings of, um, of a mafia war. Alright. Or it's, like, the first paintball fight in Freeburg. Watch as they don't get killed. Alright. Oh gosh. Alright, let's let we're going down a slippery slope of, of terrorist jokes that I don't want to be a part of. Let's see. Um I came to the park to play chess and I saw some people started running past screaming covered in blood. Um reported the breathless Connolly. I just ran as fast as I could. It was terrible. Okay, well I got nobody. Drug sales. We caught the guy. Nice. 
I think it was weird. There was one time I did this and I didn't catch the guy because I went to the wrong place. But now I think about it, maybe I went to the wrong place and the day ended and it cut me off from trying to go to the other place. So maybe that was just a one-time thing. It seems much more forgiving than I remember it. Refuse? Yeah, Beardo! I can always count on Beardo, man. Civilians unharmed. Beard gets the job done. He's... I can count on Beard, man. <laughs> At least it's not as controversial, Dirge. Uh, let me see here. I can respond to both of these. Uh, Massacre. So that was the people running away, bleeding in the park, which is probably some, like, LARPing thing. Uh, we received 12 complaints about um, Money Grow, a company which promises reliable investment returns. Uh, once they got the money, they started avoiding all their investors and became belligerent uh, and urged uh, even their big investors uh, to simply trust them. Uh, Brent Bryant, um, who lost over $10,000, said the director of Money Grow has withdrawn all the money and is, pretending to, um, is preparing to flee the country. Alright, there we go. Oh gosh, what's going on? Ah, oh, shit. Secretary at the uh, Blink Zone studio reported that a trainee photographer became so excited during a nude shot that he attacked the model and tends to rape her hurry. Uh, he locked himself in a room with her. Um, he's tying her up with cables. Oh, shit. Oh, I won't be able to respond to that one, unfortunately. Um, it, Mr. Connolly was, uh, experiencing the Indian Festival of Colors for the first time. Shit. Just didn't have enough people. Let's see, um, seeing the people, uh, a woman quickly, uh, hides a file in the safe and then grabs a stack of papers, uh, from the table and waves in the air, saying, our paperwork is in order, we're a real company. Take the hidden file from the safe. What do we got here? We have an assault at the entertainment district. I got it, Blue Pickle. Uh, but what I meant will stop those sorts of jokes, I actually meant will stop those sorts of jokes. Um, let's see. During the a bodybuilding show, a small group of girls burst into the room uh, and did something that um, threatens the very lives of the uh, participants. One of the bodybuilders uh, put in the call that, uh, that police, uh, but his words were slurred and he spoke through his tears, uh, so he was unable to explain the situation. Here, wait. Let me just do this. Guys, stop asking questions, please, and just change the subject, please. Uh, during a bodybuilding show, you know, so they could be overreacting. And this is a legal arms sales. Uh, Bill Buckler saw a truck of a few uh, cars near his farm. Uh, around them was a group of about 10 people arguing. The farm uh, wanted to drive these suspicious folks away um, uh, from there, uh, but they saw him. Uh, they grabbed him. Uh, they grabbed some weapons from their vehicles and opened fire. Uh, Buckler somehow managed to get back to the house of safety and called the police. My summer's been pretty good. Alright. Is four people enough, or am I going to have to send more? Oh, well, apparently that's enough. And... I have a feeling this is a false alarm. Alright, what's going on here? Massive fight? Ooh, can't deal with that. But men armed with knives and iron bars uh, broke into the club, determined to show how those um, show those yellow slopes how we fight here in Freeburg. Uh, the fight spread um, and several bystanders were drawn in, uh, but one managed to escape and call the police. Oh shit. The assault report. The girls uh, were just shouting insults and belittling uh, bodybuilder lifestyle, which brought the muscle-bound mopes to tears. <laughs> oh my. 
We can't respond to these, can we? Yeah, it's not the wrong shift. Or it's the wrong shift, rather. Uh, men with automatic weapons have surrounded the farmer's house. Um, he's struggling to put up a fight, uh, but he's just armed with an old gun. Man with automatic weapons was around the farmer's house. He's struggling to put up a fight, uh, but he's just armed with an old gun. Hmm. I say ambush and beat the criminals in the truck uh, before they can sound the alarm. Uh, the suspects jump in uh, to their cars, shouting, um, "Who's going to stay and watch the stuff?" Okay. I feel like, well, this this one's just dumb, um, slash badass, but one of those two. I'm gonna drop your weapons and eat dirt. can we get? Let's see, let's get Jonathan and um, Ritono Ozaki. Alright. <laughs> Shit. I don't think three would have worked. I don't think three would have worked. Alright, so I don't have enough, so I'm not even going to bother trying to fix this. Alright, actually, um, investigations, I can put more people on this, can't I? Yeah, because we got, um, shit, who's... Oh, what's this one? Oh, the massive fight. Oh, yeah, I can't respond to that, unfortunately. And yeah, massive fight. All right, Creeper. Let's see here. And end the day. Needless to say, I Ooh. really miss them a lot. I can't wait for the moment when I'll see them again. Wouldn't you like to see me? Ah, uh, Lana, but we... Uh... Let me guess. You've thought about it, but then you realized this can only bring us more suffering. Besides, it's dangerous given the kind of work we do and why you ruin things when everything is going so well, right? Well, if you know what I think, then you must be thinking the same thing. Yeah, Jack. Because it's true. But is it fair? You know what wouldn't be fair? If your friends caught you in a karaoke bar with an old man. With an old man? <laughs> Maybe you imagine you've been talking to a young Greek god with long golden hair, but uh, I'm a 60-year-old man, Lana. Listen to me, Jack. Ever since high school, I've been surrounded by old men. At university, half my classmates were old men. They might have been 18 years old, but they were already half in the grave. No goals, no ideas, just endless burned-out looks on their faces, exhausted and empty. At work, even my younger colleagues act like old men. They don't have the stomach for a fight. They're already dreaming of retirement. And then there's you, Jack. The only man for a long time who felt the same age as me. Because you fight. Because there's life inside you. Lana, it's... I, um... Uh... <laughs> Damn, it's true. There's life in me yet. Jack! You're so cocky. Oh, excuse me, miss. I am the most promising young prosecutor in the country. <laughs> you know it's true. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
All right, we can get one more day probably. Let's see what's going on. Uh, middle school heading to a National Physics Olympiad. Uh, city fountains cleaned. Um, action thriller uh, bloody shirt. Uh, three rakes in cash at the box office. And city Hall doesn't like us as much. Probably because we're, we're failing some more stuff, unfortunately. Oh, we got some friends of mine um, asked me to help out in Animal Shelter. No, you, we need everybody we can get today. Come on now. Oh, shit. Why do I only have that many people? Oh, crap. Let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, Bruno, uh, Savani turned out to be a master, or sorry, a member of the gang, um, Atlanta Funeral Home. Oh. Um, he could help you take down the gang if you wanted him as an informant. Oh. The actual funeral home. How do funeral homes actually a gang? Alright, let's do it. I am Lady Serenia. I know, it's been pretty cool, actually. I like the, um... It's like the Skyrim overhaul is pretty awesome. Uh, Chief, uh, the suspect, uh, is denying everything. If we get this guy's, uh, boss, uh, we'll have to loosen his tongue. Um... Proceed. Okay, so we have to interrogate. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, so this is totally new. I don't know what they're doing. Let's see. Uh, we've prepared a profile for the suspect. The informant, um, we've, or the information we've gathered will help you identify his weak points and use them during the interrogation. When asking questions, be careful. If you screw up too many times, the suspect will likely refuse to cooperate, and then we'll either have to give up or resort to extreme measures. Okay. So Bruno, um, Savani. Uh, suspect suffers from, uh, Phonophobia, once hospitalized for electrical burns, uh, and since he avoids electricity, efforts by psychologists uh, to help him deal with his childhood traumas have proven unsuccessful. So if he really wanted to, we could like, I don't know, bring a lamp closer to him and like freak him out. Additional info, as a child, uh, Bruno Savali was a competitive swimmer, uh, and he placed in a dozen competitions. He gave up the sport after unpleasant experience. Uh, after he finished swimming lessons one evening, some girls locked him in his locker and left him there all night, uh, but since he has re um, repeatedly appealed to psychologists to help him with his fear of dark and closed spaces. Um, wait, wait, wait. Let me just, let me just get this right here. Phobia. Fear or aversion to loud sounds. Fear of voices. That's what phonophobia is. Interesting. So he does not like loud sounds. Gotcha. He's also claustrophobic, apparently. Let's see. I know Pikachu's are really rare. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Since then, he's repeatedly appeared to... Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was regularly exposed to violence at home. Uh, after the death of his parents in an automobile accident, Bruno Savani uh, dedicated himself to his studies and graduated high school with honors. Uh, he received a scholarship uh, to a prestigious college uh, where he was counted as one of the best students. Uh, he also took several side jobs uh, while he was in school. One of these jobs at the um, Atala Funeral Home, uh, he met uh, Dante G Gambino. Uh, <laughs> what a hell of a name. Um, <laughs> Uh, they then since, um, they have since grown close. Mr. Gambino has assisted Savani in the past, uh, billing him out when Savani got into minor jams. Uh, he's even listed in Savani's emergency contact. Okay, so the guy, this competitive swimmer, has a fear of enclosed spaces. And has a fear of loud noises. I'm gonna ask questions that aren't directly. So, like, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, who deli- 
uh, who do you deliver the drugs for rather than who do you work for? Because who do you work for is usually like you always say no to that. Who do you deliver the drug for is like a little bit of a, a workaround. So just maybe the wording's off and he might respond to it a little differently. Uh, I work for myself, pig. Okay. Uh, okay, we already uh, know you're in, uh, you're in with Gon uh, Dante Gambino. Um, he worked for you, or is it the other way around? Um, how about you simplify our life and just help us out a bit? Your mother isn't happy about uh, what you're, what's going on here. She just called the police station. She's in tears. We know his parents died in a car accident, so that won't work. Uh, listen, you're lung and clever. You help us. We'll help you. Uh, we'll put um, in a good word for you. You might even um, get to go to college after all. I think that's going to uh, motivate him. Uh, college, you assholes don't know anything about me. Oh, shit, I chose that wrong. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Okay, we already uh, know uh, you're in with Gante. Okay. This one. Uh, I. That's the first time I'm hearing that name. All right, let's see. Your lining repeatedly bailed you out of here. You're a fool to deny it. We record everything. Uh, the sound float contains photos of surveillance. You are lying. I can prove it, um, but I can smell it. No. Let's go with this way. We have it on record that he's bailed you out a few times. Okay, fine. I'll tell you what you want. Wonderful. Okay, okay. I'll tell you everything I want. It was Dante Gambino. I got the drugs from him. Um, I just did what he asked. Alright, so now we can start to investigate Dante Gambino. Alright, Davenport lead. Um, I got my share from the Mafia. Let's share 50% with staff. Might as well. Uh, and I want everything City Hall. Uh, we have to respond to one of these. We have an arson in the sub... Oh yeah, we have the arson. Um... I want to go to the motel because I think he's going to be there more. I think he's going to be there. Um, no, I'll make the decisions, Creeper. I'll make the decisions. Um, an informant gave us an address of one of the biggest drug houses in the city. According to our information, uh, there's about three dozen drug addicts, um, many of them armed. Uh, just past the um, just past day, three people uh, in there were shot dead and thrown on a corner to rot. I do not have enough people to do that. Also, where the hell is everybody? Like seriously, where the where the hell is everybody? Oh, they're they're at the police academy today. Gotcha. Right, what do we got here? Uh, bomb threat. A uh, physical education teacher noticed a suspicious van parked near the school. Uh, there was no one inside, but I heard some kind of strange machine running in the back. Um, just like in the movies. Um, do we have to evacuate the school? Can we send three people? Okay. Drug possession investigation has started. Excellent. And the arson report, got him. If they're playing, if they're playing terrorist again, I'll be pissed. All right, so let me check this out. Um, detectives. I guess Mole's not back. I suppose we have to wait for Mole to get back, and then we can do that. <laughs> or they're recording a movie, or it's like a you know just a black van parked somewhere. Uh, reckless endangerment at the Freeburg Zoo. Four uh, activists from the group uh, Life After Meat, um, in a show of support to their fellow animals, entered the zoo and used bolt cutters to remove the locks in the cages. Several wild animals have gotten loose, and they're attacking the zoo's visitors. Yeah, about that. About that. Bomb threat. Uh, there were no bombs. Excuse me. In the vans, just a bunch of antiques. Uh, the van belongs to a junk dealer and a collector. Alrighty. Can I send two people here? Or is that not enough? Yep, not enough. If people get back in time, I might be able to go to it. Detectives. 
Okay, everybody's back. Uh, let's put Mole in there. Who's working this shift B? Who's working in shift B? Shift B's Mole, Davenport, Marlowe, and Williams. Okay, so we have to put Marlowe and Williams in there as well. Hey, Sabrol, how's it going? <laughs> I know, jeez, it's crazy. Alright, Creeper, can you chill with the caps, please? <laughs> Alright, now, Ruckus Endangerment at the zoo. Can I do, like, three people? And then two for an armed robbery. Alright, we just got a call from the, um, Halal Grocery. Uh, two armed robbers wearing, uh, U.S. President masks have, um, cleaned up the cash box. Alright, let's go. Alright. And what we got here? Restriction of property. Several people are smashing, uh, the glass entrance to the cinema and tearing up posters outside. They're shouting, uh, modern cinema cor uh, corrupts the youth. Uh, and someone just pulled out a Molotov cocktail. Oh shit. You can take care of a few animals, right? Yay, no one died. <laughs> Thank goodness. Ooh. Nice saber. I can send people to the destruction of property. Armed robbery report. There we go. Sweet. That sounds delicious. Now, what do these guys want? Uh, my old rival, uh, Jim uh, Gates, has returned to the city. Uh, the last few years he spent in China uh, setting up factories there. Now he wants to flood the city uh, with cheap knockoffs, threatening every honest businessman in Freeburg. Um, at the present time, uh, he's staying at True Color Hotel. He plans to buy a house outside the city. Um, I want you to show him the true terror capable of the law enforcement agencies. Um, he used to understand that he's not welcome in here in Freeburg. Right, I'm not going to have enough people to respond to that immediately. Although we have 40 seconds to respond to it. Oh gosh, there's so many other things. We have a domestic problem. According to Mr. Adams, uh, the earth is about uh, to be struck by a giant meteor. Okay, cool. We don't have to respond to that one. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Um, Mr. Uh, Chakovsky uh, withdrew a large sum from his bank account. Uh, then, while he was uh, getting into his car, a man carried a gun, approached him from behind. Um, he told me not to turn around and hand the money over. Uh, then he ran away, and I finally turned around and saw the tall figure in a hood um, uh, ducking up the alley. All right, so I, I might be able to respond to this one. That would be funny if the game ends when the meteor strikes. Let me see here. See how dark it is outside? There's a meteor blocking out the sun. Other oh, stones falling from my uh, falling on my roof. They're from a meteor. Uh, one of them just broke through the kitchen window. Um, I have to get the family uh, safety. Send someone to help. Imagine, right? It's not a meteor, but like their house is literally falling apart on them, and I don't like go in time and like. Oh my gosh! All right, send two people to the armed robbery. Let's see, uh, one of these uh, hooligans is trying to light a Molotov cocktail, but his lighter won't strike. Deploy fire extinguishers! There we go. Wonderful. Why do things keep happening? Domestic problem. Mr. Adams was overreacting to a hailstorm, uh, which he took uh, to be pieces of a meteorite. Uh, the sky outside darkened because the storm clouds were overhead. Alright, in drug possession, the former chief of the, uh, sorry, the former chef of the restaurant in Chinatown says the kitchen, uh, is used, uh, to sort and cut heroin. My friend had an overdose, uh, from the garbage they mixed up there. Um, I want those bastards to pay. Alright, well, pass him the Zippo. Sometimes that does work. Oh no, Mr. Sand, why? I have so much shit on my plate and everyone went to the frickin' academy. That was definitely not worth the time, although friggin' City Hall's a piece of shit anyway. 
Uh, Jack, once again, fucking bikers um, have set up camp right outside. Uh, summon someone to the police to scare them off uh, so they don't come around our territory anymore. I can't send anybody. Now... Yeah, I'm gonna respond to this one. Oh gosh, what's this? A mass riot. Local fans have uh, brought up um, all have bought up all the bananas at the grocery stores and preparing to uh, taunt the visitors, the visiting rival football team, uh, which consists entirely of, oh, you fucking racist shitholes. Uh, a judge has been forced to stop the game uh, unless the fans will allow order to be restored, but our fans don't seem to want um, to settle down. Uh, they're singing racist songs and uh, working each other up into the frenzy. The situation could get ugly. Oh, gosh. Is this going to work? Uh, I don't have a lot of room here. All right, we have floor door though. We're good. We're good. Ooh, we found money. Hell yeah. Um, why? Oh, damn it. I would have loved to respond to that too, because the Adius Corp would be great. Uh, drug possession. Shit. I need to make some more money, damn it. Alright, what do we got here? We got a noise complaint. Elderly widow um, was visiting a grave uh, of her husband when she uh, heard some terrible sounds, wheezing, moaning, and rustling. It's as if someone is trying to climb out of the ground. It's probably people having sex in the graveyard. Disorderly conduct. Uh, the park was raided uh, by uh, the musical group uh, Motorman, uh, which staged a spontaneous anti-government concert and immediately um, pulled in dozens of fans. Right, I don't want anybody to die. So, damn. Gosh, my my uh, my friggin' stats are plummeting for the uh, success to like success to fail ratio. That's eh, actually not that bad. It's not too bad actually. I thought it was a lot worse. Drug possession. All right. Uh, I'll take a look at this when we get some more frames. And I, I got nobody, man. I got nobody. Noise complaint. Oh, gosh. Disorderly conduct. Offenders escaped. Noise complaint. The sounds came from an African gray parrot which flew into the cemetery. Uh, soon the owner of a parrot found him and took him home. Uh, I better keep a closer eye on his uh, cage door. It was a pigeon. Uh, let me see here. And, yeah, I can't respond to that either. Noise complaint. I mean, it's a noise complaint. So, so sue me. Alright then, the mass right report. Fenders caught, officers unharmed. Cool. Alright then, let's end the day. Alright, I think we're good to go then. Hopefully the people will be back from uh, the police academy and I can have all those dudes back. Alright! Um, excellent. So, um, I'm gonna switch games now um normally i play this is the police from about um 5 30 to 7 and then from 7 to 9 9 30 10 somewhere around there um i play morwind so um if you were here for um this is the police i uh, hope you enjoyed we'll be back tomorrow for more this is the police but if you would like to stay uh, stick around for more morwind it's coming up so uh, I will switch my uh, menus here and set everything up, switch the titles, all the things like that, and I'll be back shortly. See you in a bit.